Hello, everybody. Hi, Lord Tamberlane with today's Obscurity in Miniature, which comes to us from CreatureCaster out of Canada. So, uh, full disclosure, I was an original CreatureCaster backer when they ran their Kickstarter years ago. Wasn't super happy with my models that I got, but I thought I'd give them a chance, and I gotta say they've done a total 180. They've really kicked it up a notch in terms of both quality and casting and concepts. I am very happy. So this nondescript looking box holds what is their newest model, the Lord of Sorrows. Let's see just what I've gotten myself into this time. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, it is a bubble wrap bag. Sadly, there are no life counters this time. I did tear it open because I wanted to see what I was going to get into. And let's see what's in there, shall we? Oh, boy. So here are all of the parts that make up our Lord of Sorrow. You notice he's got these big wings and this exoskeleton kind of shell or whatever they call that top layer of the wings that goes on him. A, I'm going to say this is about a... 60 millimeter base creature caster without really giving it much of a look. One thing I can already comment on that I'm very happy to see are the return of plugs where his feet go on the base. This was sorely lacking, I thought, with the Queen of Malice or whatever, whatever the big crazy multi limb model that I've got that I can't remember the name of. We'll, we'll see her in a little bit. But uh, yeah, she needed that. Glad this guy's got it. We got the actual body right here, which is very nurgly looking. The first time I saw this guy, I actually, and I still kind of can see it, it almost looks tyrannid like, very insect like, but I mean, I guess, you know, that's always been a theme with Nurgle. So you can see where the wings slot in there. I like how they've got these big, nice holes to accommodate it. The first time I built one of these creature casters figures, I kept trying to figure out what all of these little holes were in all the limbs and as far as I can tell and I could be wrong but as far as I can tell those are actually to put in um, what do we call it pins you got a nice keyed up spot to put the pins between so I want to say that's probably where the head goes here are our heads yeah they do need a little cleaning we've got a more humanoid one I'm not sure what's going on there, but I mean, I guess you could probably almost paint it up like a Tyranid and maybe just green stuff over the eyes, even if you really wanted to. And then we've got a bit more insectoid one. And I'm not sure, but it looks like there's probably supposed to be some kind of mandibles or something. I don't know what's going on what. But as you can see, even though the casting gate's in the way, there's the little spots there for the pins to connect. So, very cool, that. It looks like, at least from the body, that there's going to be, I'm mm, going to guess at least two sets of limbs, maybe three. I'm not really sure. There's just so many little parts. I don't know what the tentacles are for. Maybe they go off the mouth or something. I don't even know. And it's too easy to go online and check. So, yeah. Perhaps these guys are the mandibles that go on the face. Obviously, we've got a pair of regular hands. Those look like legs, and then we have two optional weapons, a two-handed sword with pustules and teeth, or a two-handed axe, also with teeth, and a little, little bit of necessary cleanup, but that's not a big deal. Just to give you guys a good sense of size as I'm filming all this, I actually had to stand up for a moment to get everything on screen. Here is my sad and pathetic marine brother and just to zoom it on back there nope we still need to go farther back yeah so we're big the body alone is taller than the marine so this is going to be an interesting one one thing that always bears mentioning with uh creature casters big monstrous figures is despite how tall they tend to be vertically their footprint and base size outside of the huge stuff like their dragons and their big, plague, filthy, unclean, nurgly looking dudes. Everybody should fit just within their 60 millimeter base. That does look 60. Let me see. You know, I got a demon prince. My, my demon prince on standby. I'm going to just borrow your base there, brother. 
Oh, I was right, yeah. It's not a 60 millimeter base. So, I mean, he's actually going to take up no more of a footprint than a typical Demon Prince. So, I guess you could run him as a Demon Prince. Um, I mean, really? I keep looking at these parts and wondering, could a Hive Tyrant be made with this? I don't know. I'm going to have to stop here and sit down and really try to figure this out because I think if I try recording a Let's Build, <laughs> we might be here for quite some time. And I'm going to try to keep it PG because I'm sure there's going to be much swearing and cursing involved and then I try to dry fit everything. So, Creature Caster, Lord of Sorrows. What are we going to get ourselves into? Once I've got him built, I will be pulling out some of my other Creature Caster models just to give you guys a good look because... Like I said, I wasn't super happy with what they released with the original Kickstarter, but they have seriously, seriously turned things around. Casting quality is great. Turnaround time on their orders are great. Customer service has been really good for me as well. I've got no issues, and I'm more than happy to continue seeing their new models as they get released. Sadly, they have not done any kind of Lizardmen-related things for a long time, or since ever, but who knows, maybe they'll change that soon. So, hopefully I will see you all back again soon with this guy all built and figured out. And we will see just what he could be used for besides a demon prince of some sort. So, with that said, this is Higher Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying sayonara. Bye-bye.